All right, so I, was, uh, I listened to the book of Isaiah a little earlier. I'm currently listening to the book of Job. And when his three friends were giving him all these things, it kind of made me think. They're, they're giving him things from a human perspective, from their natural standpoint. Um, later on in the book, the Lord tells Job that he needs to intercede for them because he's not going to hear what they have to say because of the way that they spoke to him. The Lord revealed himself as I am. I am that I am to Moses and the burning bush. So the Lord wants you to know right now, what do you need? It says the Holy Spirit is, is a comforter. You wouldn't need comfort if you didn't find yourself in uncomfortable situations. So God wants to comfort you. There's over like 80-something names of, the, of God in the Bible. He's a provider. He's a healer. He's your banner. He's your righteousness. Um, I mean, it goes on and on and on and on and on. And every, every situation you find yourself in, the Lord wants you to know that He is... He wants to be for you at this very moment what you need. But he won't force himself onto you in that. He won't make you accept that from him. You have to ask him. You have to invite him in. You have to allow him to be what only he can be in any given situation of your life. So no matter what you're facing right now, no matter what you're going through, He's there patiently waiting to come in and to sup with you, to come in and dine with you, to dwell with you, and to be for you what you need and what only he can be. So when you hear that knock on your heart and you know it's him, open the door, invite him in. Give him full access and watch him be not only what you need, but more. He'll be more than what you need, what you expect, or what you could even dream possible of him being when you need him the most. But you have to be vulnerable, you have to be open, and you have to allow him to be that for you. Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and he that opens, I will come in and I will dine with him. It says, do not harden your hearts as they did in days past. Open your heart to the Lord. Be vulnerable. Be open with him. He already knows. He wants you to share it with him. He wants to have an intimate relationship with you. And then be for you what only he can be in any season of your life. Jesus is king.